In this video, we will review the basic actions you can take with sensors in our Air Config tool. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the sensors column in the Air Config tool, you will be able to identify and create sensors so that you can have devices listen to them, and you will know how to save and print your sensors and sensors lists. Before we get started, you will need your USB stick specifically programmed by Magnum Energy Solutions. We will be completing this video in the basic Air Config mode. We will be conducting most of this tutorial on the right side of the basic configuration display within the sensors column. When you first look at the column, you will see a list containing all Inotion based sensors in radio range. The lime green text is the Inotion ID hexadecimal number that individually identifies each sensor. The light blue text is the decimal ID of the sensor that you can uniquely customize for better identification. To do this, simply right click on the sensor, select rename, and change the short description box to the custom description you desire. This will only appear within your instance of the AirConfig tool. Finally, the large dark blue text base image to the left of each sensor is the profile icon. When you first open the AirConfig tool, some devices, like the light switch in the window door sensor, will be identified automatically. However, many of the sensors will appear as 4BS. This means they have yet to be identified and that you will need to receive a valid learn telegram from the sensor in order to identify the type of sensor before you can associate it with a device. It is important to identify a sensor. If you do not identify a sensor, you will be unable to pair it with a device. We are going to use our thermostat devices as examples during this tutorial. Once again, we will need to query devices to get a list of all the current devices in radio range. Make sure that you read the configuration of the device that you are looking to update. Once the configuration is read, we will need to navigate to the fourth device configuration tab where we can learn sensors to the device. To do so, all you need to do is drag the sensor over to the device. Please note that only sensors that are supported by the device can be paired this way. Additionally, if we attempt to learn an unidentified sensor to this device, that sensor will be highlighted in red. This means that the type of sensor is not identified yet and therefore cannot be paired. We will need to identify the sensor for it to communicate properly. There are two ways that we can do so. First, we can initiate the learn process using the sensor itself. Each sensor has a learn button, which can be identified using the sensor manual. In this example, we are using an occupancy sensor. When we press the learn button, located here, we will see that the profile icon has changed in the sensor's column. Instead of showing 4BS, it now shows the occupancy sensor icon. If you are in a situation where you are unable to reach the sensor for any reason, you can also manually change the type of sensor within the AirConfig tool based on the nOcean ID. In the sensors column, use the nOcean ID hexadecimal number to navigate to the sensor you would like to identify and right click. Navigate to Change Type where you see a list of all the profiles you can identify it as. In this case, we are going to identify it as a temperature sensor. Once again, the profile icon has changed to confirm we have identified the sensor. This is a manual process, so unlike using the learn button on the device, you can identify the sensor as any profile. It is important to track the nOcean ID hexadecimal numbers for your sensors when you receive them so you may better identify them if you are unable to reach the learn button on the device. You can also change any unidentified sensors within the device configuration column. You will notice that this list is much smaller than the one in the sensors column. This is because you can only change sensors to ones that are supported by the devices they are paired with. Once we have identified the sensor within the device configuration, it will no longer be highlighted in red. This means that it is learned and able to communicate with the device. You will need to send configuration once you are done pairing sensors in order for the device configuration to be saved. If you ever have a situation where you need to learn a sensor to a device but the sensor is not within radio range or is physically unavailable, you can still configure the device by manually creating the sensor. To do this, go to the Sensors column, right-click, and navigate to New. Select the sensor profile type you are creating and you will see a box appear. This box provides you with location to input the Inotion Decimal or Hexadecimal ID. As long as you know the sensor ID, you can input it here, create the sensor, and it will appear on your list. Although the sensor is not currently in radio range, you can still commission the device. This is a great tool if you are working remotely and need to set up or update any configuration settings with sensors. As long as you have the nOcean ID, you can access and pair all of your sensors. Finally, you are able to load, save, and print your sensors and list to your system. This can be helpful if you wish to access the sensors during a different session, but they may not be in radio range or identified. Additionally, save sensor lists can be emailed to or from the installation site. To access all saving options, you will need to right-click the sensor. 
Selecting Save Sensor will save the sensor to your computer. Loading a sensor will add it to the sensor's list, even if it is not within radio range, allowing you to pair it to a device for later use. You can also load and save the sensor list that you are viewing in the sensor's column. You may not want to see all sensors within the column, so this is where the filtering function is helpful. To filter the sensor column, right-click and navigate to Filter and check or uncheck what you would like to see filtered. In this example, we are not interested in 4BS messages, so we will uncheck 4BS. Only sensors we have identified now appear, and when we save the list, only those sensors will be saved to your computer. To save the list, right-click and select Save Sensor List. Any save list can be loaded, allowing you to access the listed sensors even if they are not in radio range. The last option you have is printing the sensor or sensor list. This allows you to print a list of the sensors you see, which can be used to create labels or a reference guide to track the sensors you are using. To print a sensor or a sensor list, right-click and navigate to the print command and continue with standard printing options. This concludes the tutorial on the basic actions you can take with sensors in our AirConfig tool. You should now have a better understanding of the sensors column in the AirConfig tool, be able to identify and create sensors so you can have devices paired with them, and will know how to save and print your sensor and sensor lists. Subscribe for more tutorial videos on all of the Magnum Energy Solution product line. And if you have any questions, you can find our contact information in the description below.